Sayandran. Welcome to Pacifica Wire. We talk to one of the recent graduates from the Tuputai Pacifica Public Service Summer Internship Program, Christian Mullendrokadroka. Christian shares with us her experience during the 11 week program where she was based with the Ministry of Education working with the Pacific Education Policy Team. She talks about her passion for education and shares her thoughts on the need for diversity in the public service sector and policy in Aotearoa, New Zealand. My name is Christian Balindrakanroka. I am Samoan and Fijian, uh, born and bred in the Waikato, uh, now living in uh, Tamaki Makoto, beautiful, beautiful place here um, out in South Auckland. I studied a Bachelor of Communication Studies at the Auckland University of Technology. I graduated in 2019. Uh, I am now about to embark on a journey into um, Equipers Bible College, which I'm so excited about. Uh, yeah, and I spent the summer as a Tupatai intern in the Ministry of Education, working in the Pacific Education Policy Team. Just listening to you talk about your educational journey, uh, education, very important uh, for you, but also in your family, would uh, that be fair to say? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think it's uh, uh, definitely something that was instilled in my siblings and I, I think, from our grandparents, um, right to our parents, and then, yeah, right down to me. So it's super important, I think, um, education, but just knowledge in general. Um, Knowledge is power, as uh, my granddad would say. I studied, yeah, a Bachelor of Communication Studies, um, and then I think the Tuputai Public Policy Internship was more of um, like a passion kind of venture more than anything else. Uh, a lot of the kind of conversations that I have in my personal life with my friends and my family around uh, the change that we kind of want to see in the world, um, a lot of the things that we kind of come back to are where we can kind of see the gaps. Um, and as much as we kind of work in different communities or in um, in our own spaces and work in education or in uh, the media or in um, even in sport, a lot of the conversations just come back to, I think it's a bigger picture of where change truly needs to happen, um, and that's in decision-making tables and in policy and in government. Um, So the opportunity to work um, in the public sector through Tupotai, I was really interested in seeing uh, the machinery of of government, uh, sorry, and and how that works and also how uh, public policy really impacts every area of my life, which I didn't actually know um, what kind of fathom going into it and then kind of being there in Wellington and seeing like, oh, no, yeah, thing, the way that things are, are written into place and written into action um, affects everything that I kind of do and it, it affects the experiences that I have. Um, yeah, I just I had to take the opportunity. Um, yeah. So, you know, you're talking about policy and, you know, it, it's not something that, well, I definitely don't really fully understand and and I guess would it be fair to say that not a lot of us realise just how important policy is? Yes, that is definitely um, fair to say. I think going into it, as I um, mentioned, I had no idea um, of the extent of what policy influences um, and what it does or the impact that it actually has in my life. Uh, I definitely thought that policy uh, was kind of only related to, dare I say it, like political parties and like that that kind of thing. When I think mm. of policy, I think of what um, a political party is wanting to see or what they believe in and their own kind of missions, uh, mission statements and vision for the country. But I didn't actually realize that public policy, uh, the laws and the programs that actually regulate society, um, they're not only guiding principles, but they're also just barriers that underpin everything that we do. Uh, And so there's a huge just lack of information um, around, uh, yeah, what policy is and how it it impacts everything. So I was very, very lucky, very blessed to be um, placed with the Ministry of Education, working um, with the Pacific Education Policy Team. And so it's uh, my internship involves me uh, being able to work on four different projects, which is incredible. Um, and they were projects that my um, incredible manager, um, Fasula Tele Solo, what uh, she had kind of uh, 
plan for me to be part of um, that align not only with the mahi that the team was already doing, um, but with a lot of my own passions and strengths um, and things that I'd be interested in. So I got to work uh, with the tertiary policy team. I got to look at Pacific languages in schools. I got to work on uh, different ways that we uh, serve or don't serve uh, Pacific learners specifically um, and look at kind of all the different pieces that a Pacific Oh, sorry, a population specific policy team looks at. Uh, and so I got to do a lot of meetings. I got to sit in a lot of uh, very heavy conversation and then a lot of um, different workshops uh, and different programs that allowed me to get a bigger picture, not only of policy and how broad it is, but just of my own kind of place and positioning and where I can best kind of be utilized um, if I was to continue on into policy. Um, that's just such a, such a gift. And um, I know that that's not the experience of every intern. And so the fact that um, my manager and my team just saw fit to really mm -hmm. set me up to get a good experience of what uh, public service actually is and what it could be and what it should be um, was just an incredible blessing. That was Christian and Balan Drucker. Thanks for listening. Visit our website at www.pacificawire.com. We welcome you to like us on Facebook, LinkedIn, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can listen to the full podcast with Christian on Spotify. Fafitai, Maia Manawia.